We have several markets across the nation that are starting to see year over year priced clients. For example, in Florida, several of the pandemic boom towns are starting to see year over year declines. Well, all real estate is local. So what's happening in the Omaha market? Are homes in Omaha starting to show year over year price declines? What about the current inventory? What about the new construction market? What about interest rates? All of these questions are more we're going to tackle in today's video and we're going to get started right now. Let's start with home prices in Douglas and Sarpy County. The median closed sales price in the month of August was $319,000. That's up 1.3% from a year ago. What if we look at new construction versus existing? During the month of August, the median closed sales price for new construction was $460,000. That's up 6.7% compared to a year ago. For existing homes, the median closed sales price was $300,000, which is up 3.2% compared to 2023. Home prices are still up, especially if you're a seller. Now more than ever, you need to be careful not to overprice your home, especially if you're in a market in competition with new construction. Builders want to move their inventory, so if things start to slow down a tad, you'll see many builders, especially volume builders like DR Horton, they will start to offer special financing incentives just to move inventory. If you're an existing seller, you need to keep this in mind and you need to price your home accordingly. For example, a few years ago, I had a seller who had a split entry home and these sellers went overboard and updated everything. The problem is they over improved the property. They took a $230,000 home, sunk over $200,000 into upgrades. So they had $430,000 into this property and it was only worth $320,000. You have to be careful about doing upgrades that you may not get your money back out. Even though they were not in a new construction market, they're still in competition with new construction because someone could simply drive 20 minutes and purchase a brand new celebrity home at the time for around $320,000. Long story short, price your home competitively. Now let's talk about inventory. We currently have 2,029 homes on the active market in Douglas and Sarpy County. That's up 33.6% compared to a year ago. More inventory means more choices. If we look at inventory over the past 10 years, we see an inventory level that we have not seen in the past five years, which is good. This means buyers are in less competition and buyers are asking for home inspections and seller concessions. Speaking of concessions, let's take a moment and talk about the new rules that are now in effect. Starting August 17th, before buyers can view a home, they have to sign a buyer broker agreement with their agent. The other major change we saw in August is that commissions have been removed from the MLS. As a way to attract more buyers, sellers are wise to offer a concession to a buyer to lower the cost to purchase for a buyer. When a seller offers the buyer a concession, it means the buyer has less money out of pocket they will need to bring to closing. Sellers who offer concessions are at a competitive advantage in this kind of a market. Keep in mind, anytime we're talking about commissions, they always have been and always will be negotiable. Let's look at new construction versus existing inventory. We currently have 951 new construction homes on the active market. That's up 14.2% compared to 2023. For existing homes, we have 1,078 homes on the active market, which is up 57.1% compared to 2023. Let's look at closed sales for the month of August. In August, we closed 936 homes in Douglas and Sarpy County. That's down 9.5% compared to 2023. If we compare new versus existing, sales of new construction was down 28.3% compared to 2023, and existing was off 6.2% compared to 2023. Looking back over the past 10 years, 2023 and 2024 are the worst two years in terms of the number of sold homes. 
The people in this market are the have to buyers. These are people going through a major life event like the four D's death, divorce, diapers, or diamonds. Many people would like to move, but in some cases, I've even heard of a divorced couple who chose to live together because they cannot afford housing on their own. The other major segment of people who are in this market are people who are relocating because of employment. Speaking of relocation, if you're moving to the Omaha area and if you need assistance, my contact information is in the description below. So why are so many people on the sideline? Okay, number one is just gonna be simply uncertainty. We're in the middle of an election year. I think some people are sitting on the sidelines just to see how the election shakes out. The second reason is gonna be interest rates. I think there's some buyers out there who have a wait and see attitude. I think they're waiting to see if rates are gonna to continue to go back down. And if they go back down, I think you're gonna see that spike demand and that's gonna push prices up. And then I also think there's folks that are out there who are really locked into a lower interest rate and they're not going to move because they're concerned about the uncertainty of the future and they're just going to choose to stay put. Number three is going to be the overall economy. I think we have a lot of uncertainty when it comes to the economy. I think we've seen unemployment increase. That usually means people are going to be a little more cautious about making a move. Number four is going to be on affordability. Rates went up and that made homes less affordable. Payments doubled, but incomes have remained the same or they went up very little. On top of that, you had inflation, which makes everything cost more. What about days on market? In Douglas and Sarpy County, the average days on market was 18 days on market. That is up 5.9% compared to 2023. Let's look at the month supply. In Douglas and Sarpy County, we have 2.4 months of inventory. That means if no other homes came on the market, it would take 2.4 months to exhaust the current inventory. We are still in a seller's market. A seller's market is zero to three months of inventory. A neutral market is four to six months of inventory. And a buyer's market has over six months of inventory. Let's take a look at the different price points. Now, below $200,000, we have 1.1 months of inventory, while in the $450,000 and above, we have 4.1 months of inventory. Let's take a look at new versus existing. We have 6.6 .6 months of inventory in the new construction market, and we only have one and a half months of inventory in the existing market. Let's take a look at the price per square foot and let's go back five years and look at the 12 month rolling average in order to smooth out some of the seasonality. For new construction, we are at $256 a square foot and for existing, we're at $207 a square foot. What about the unemployment rate? The U.S. unemployment rate was 4.5% compared to 3.8% in 2023. In Douglas County, we were at 3.4% compared to 2.7% in 2023. And in Sarpy County, we were at 2.9% versus 2.2% in 2023. So we're starting to see unemployment tick up a little bit. Now, when unemployment ticks up a little, Let's talk about the impact on interest rates. Now, interest rates are starting to move in the right direction. According to Mortgage News Daily, the 30-year fixed rate mortgage rate was 6.25%. As rates go down, homes become more affordable. I know there's a bunch of folks out there waiting for the market to crash, but I just don't see that happening. If rates do come down, you might see prices start heading back up. Nobody can predict the future, but Anyone who tells you about the impending collapse of the market, where were they five years ago telling you to buy back then to take advantage of the best run up in prices we have ever seen? Truth is, nobody knows what the market's going to do. The market's going to go up and the market's going to go down. Interest rates are going to go up and interest rates are going to go down. Buy a home you can afford, plan to live in it for a while, and over time, you're going to be okay. If you can't buy right now, keep working at it, save your money, take care of your credit, and eventually you'll have an opportunity. Let's take a quick look at lumber. Lumber is currently at $479.51 for a thousand board feet. 